A big week in the rankings this week ahead of Indian Wells, the biggest event since the Australian Open for the men and for the women, I guess, if you want to discount Dubai. We had a lot of the top guys playing in both Dubai and Acapulco and a couple of the ladies playing over in events as well. Let's go to the past results because we actually had a lot of tournaments last week. So starting over on the WTA, we had the Monterey Open with Donna Vekic beating Caroline Garcia 6-4-3-6-7-5 to lift her fourth career trophy. And over in Austin, Kostyuk got the win, her first ever WTA trophy, 6-3-7-5, beating Gracheva in that final. So a couple of ladies who played very well last week got a boost in the rankings as well to show for it. Over on the men's side of things, we start off in Dubai with Daniel Medvedev taking out Andre Rublev 6-2-6-2. Medvedev now winning three titles in three weeks. Over at the Acapulco Open, we had Alex Dimonor taking out Tommy Paul 3-6-6-4-6-1, lifting the big Biggest trophy of his career so far, Diminor. And over at the Chile Open, Jerry, the local, took out Echeverry 6-7-7-6-6-3 to lift the trophy on home soil. So a big win there for Jerry in the last clay court event until April. Let's talk about the players that have gone up and down in the rankings this week outside of the top 10 before we get to the top 10 ranks. Starting with the players that have gone up in the rankings, we've got Diminor going up four spots, number 18 in the world, making him the number one Australian again. Vekic, after winning in Monterey, she goes up eight spots, number 20. 23 in the world, creeping back towards her career high, number 19. Maybe could get that if she has a good Indian Wells. And Kostyuk, she goes up 12 spots to a career high ranking of number 40 in the world after winning in Austin. So the three players outside the top 10 that won last week got a nice boost in the ranks. And the players that went down in the rankings this week outside the top 10, Nick Kyrgios. He goes down three spots to number 22 in the world, making him the second best Australian player on the ATP. Fernandez, she went down 17 spots to 49 after failing to defend the points in Monterey from this time last year. And Osorio, she goes down 29 spots to number 99 after making the final in Monterey last year and not playing this year. So a couple of players dropping down the ranks. And of course, with Indian Wells coming up, Nick Kyrgios' ranking is at stake because he does have a lot of points to defend and won't be defending them because he already pulled out of those events. Having a look at the WTA rankings now for this week, and no changes to the ranks with Sviantec at number one, Sabalenka at two, Pagula at three, Jabur at four, Garcia stays at number five, Goff at six, Zachary at seven, Kazakina at eight, Benchage at nine, and Rabakina at ten. And that'll be the top ten that we see at Indian Wells at this stage. And they're all going to be playing at Indian Wells in a few days' time. Having a look at the race of the finals now for the WTA. And we do have a change, but we'll get to that in a second. Sabalenka stays at number one with Rabakina at two, Sviantec at three, Benchage at four, Pagula at five, Grajikova at 6, Azarenka at 7, Goff stays at 8 with Lynette at number 9 and Garcia makes her way into the top 10 for the first time in a few weeks. Going up two spots to number 10, pushing down Pliskova for that last spot in the race of the finals. And of course, the race of the finals are going to look a lot different by the end of March because of course, Indian Wells and Miami coming up worth a lot of points. Going over to the ADB rankings now and we do have some changes to the men's rankings with a lot of players playing this week. But no change at the top with Djokovic staying at number 1. Alcaraz just behind at number 2. Two, with Tsitsipas at three, Rude at four, Fritz at five, but we do have a change in the middle with Medvedev going up to number six, pushing Rublev down to number seven after he beat Rublev in the final of Dubai. And Holger Runa making the semifinals of Acapulco. He goes to a career high number eight in the world. Two spots higher than last week, pushing Nadal down to number nine and Oje Aliassime at number 10. And some big things to watch out for over the next couple of weeks. Nadal confirmed to drop out of the top 10. We'll see how far in a few weeks time. But Alcaraz and Djokovic playing for the world number one spot going into Indian Wells. We'll keep an eye on that over the next few weeks. We could have a new number one the next time we do the ranking show. Having a look at the race of the finals now and there were some big changes to the ATP finals race. No change at the top though with Djokovic staying at number one and Sidney Pass at number two. But Medvedev, he goes up to number three in the race of the finals after winning his third title in a row. And Tommy Pohl goes up to number four after making the final Acapulco, pushing Nori down two spots to number five in the rankings. Fritz goes up two spots to number six and Alex Dimonor goes up 11 spots to number seven after winning the biggest trophy of his career. Hashinov went down to number eight three spots lower than last week. Sinner at nine, and Rublev jumps into the top 10 for the first time, five spots higher than last week, pushing both her catch and Alcaraz out of the top 10 completely. So interesting to see the shape of the ATP Finals race at the moment. A couple of familiar names, but there are a couple of random names there as well. So there you have it. That is the rankings for this week. And we're not going to have a ranking show next week because of course, Indian Wells will be underway. It starts on Wednesday. So we're going to have a ranking show in two weeks time. So just so everyone can prepare for that, Two weeks time when the points come in from Indian Wells, we'll do the update. But there's going to be some big changes. And there were some big changes this week. And of course, Rafa dropping out of the top 10. That's a huge, huge news. He hasn't been out of the top 10 since 2005. 
But what is the biggest shock for you this week in the rankings? Was it the fact that we don't have any changes on the women's ranking side? Or was it maybe the fact that Rafa is continually dropping out of the top 10? And we don't know when he's coming back. So he could drop down a fair bit if he doesn't start the clay court season when everyone else does in April. But no ranking show next week. These are the rankings going into Indian Wells in a couple of days' time.